For this pattern, we're going to assume that you've done a nice, elegant Rolf pelvic lift using the elbow motions and the head lengthening. And now you're going to slide your legs down the table one at a time, keeping the front belly muscle relaxed, the rectus abdominis. So you'll stay flat against the table. That's it, and then the left leg down. All the time keeping your back flat on the table. And now keep your feet aimed toward the ceiling. It'll involve a little, it'll involve a little bit of tonus in the legs. And now bring your toes up and your foot up. Use an internal sense to tell if you have a horizontal hinge pin in your toes. Let your knees stay soft though they don't have to rise as when you're against the wall. And then the foot down, leading especially with the big toe, and then the toes down. And then the toes up, and the foot up, and feel your back flattening against the ground as you breathe. And then your foot down with the toes up. And then at the end, letting the toes relax and breathing into your lower back. Once again, bring the toes up and the foot up. All the time, paying attention to the expansion of your breath in the lower back, keeping your back fairly flattened against the ground. And then the toes, the foot down with the toes up. And then the toes down. And relax. Once again, breathing into the lower back. 